Hey there everyone, it is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. Another little project to share with you. This is another submarine put together by the illustrious David Merriman III, a famous boat. It's a USS Blueback submarine. Let's take a closer look. So if you follow my channel, which I certainly hope you do, you'll have seen that I featured another one of David's submarines a little bit earlier on. It was another submarine in 96 scale, a Russian Kilo class submarine. So this is sort of the partner to that boat, again put together by David as well, and it is equally as beautiful. I'm going to take a few minutes, walk you through the boat, show you how this installed, and we're going to finish things off showing you how she performs in the pool. So let's start at the control of the boat. We're running a VEX low frequency six channel radio system to control this particular RC submarine. On the left side, we've got throttle. The channel four, the uh, horizontal is not utilized. On the right side, forward and back is our dive planes, our uh, fair water planes up in the sail here. And of course, horizontal is the rudder. On the back, Channel five, that's our ballast system. You push up to surface, down to submerge, and then on channel six, that's the stern plane override if you wanna do your crash dive or emergency surface. Powering everything is uh, an older style subdriver unit, 2.5 inches in diameter. Dave elected to use a standard mechanical switch, which is absolutely perfect. When this is disengaged, the battery is physically cut off from the rest of the cylinder, so you can actually leave that plugged in on your way to the pond, on your way back from the pond, and there won't be any current drain on the battery. Uh, ballast system is what Dave calls his uh, SAS, or semi-aspirated system. What you've got here is a pump-based ballast system. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here, that little blue air pump is how that works. So to dive, this valve opens up, all of the air gets evacuated from the ballast system and you dive. To surface, the ballast uh, moves in the other direction, the air pump kicks on, and in the uh, upper hull, there's an air hose that goes to the intake in the top of the sail. So it pumps air from the sail in through the safety valve and then it blows uh, into the ballast chamber causing the submarine to surface. There is also in this boat a gas backup system and this is the filler valve for that here. Um, if you look on the inside, there's a little Schrader valve, a little tire valve and that gets depressed when that uh, linkage goes all the way back, it blows liquid air into it. So you've just got that little bit of safety factor with that gas backup subsystem. In the front here, we've got an automatic pitch controller, three servos, one for rudder, one for rear dive planes, and one for the fair water planes. On the bottom, we've got our receiver and our electronic speed controller. Um, and then you've got a 2IS switch here, which controls the ballast system. Uh, and then the last thing, of course, you've got a main drive motor right there. So nice system, slick system. Uh, red wire is the antenna extension that gets stretched out in the hull, so they get maximum reception. Looking at the boat, uh, access to the boat, there's a little stainless bolt that gets removed from just in front of the upper rudder. Just lift up slide it forward, and now we've got access to the interior of the boat. Everything is very neat, tidy, organized, and looks very professional. We would not expect anything else. Uh, in the upper hull, here is that um, intake for your ballast system. There's a snorkel valve up in the, in the sail there, hiding inside, and that's what opens and closes when the boat uh, surfaces. And then we've got linkage for the fair water plane. So you can see those moving right there. And those go all the way to the back and they mate up with this connector on the cylinder for the dive planes. So let's, uh, let's take a look at how we put this all together. This is super easy. Um, we're just gonna spread apart our Velcro here. 
I'm gonna tuck that kind of underneath so it doesn't get in our way. Make sure our antenna is out of the way. I'm gonna put our intermediate shaft in place, connect it to the dog bone. It's right there, got lots of flexibility there. When we drop it down, there's a pin that goes into the bottom of the ballast tank and now it's locked in place. It can't mo rotate or move forward and backward. I wanna tuck in our hoses, wrap our antenna in here so that it is out of the way. Um, but stretch out as much as you can get inside the hull. That done, we'll take our Velcro, tie that down, and now everything is in place. We'll connect our linkages. Oh, it's sitting on it. There we go. So now our, our magnetic linkages are made up, and those just snapped right into place. Let's take a quick look at everything working. Turn our radio on first, always radio first. Turn the switch on. We're gonna wait just a moment. The AD2 is gonna cycle and then lock into its uh, neutral position. So now you can see the pitch controller is working autonomously, but we can override that with channel six and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, let's just look at everything here. We got our rudder. And then our forward dive planes, you can see that center linkage moving in and out that connects to the fair water planes. And then our stern plane override. And uh, the last thing that we've got is the ballast system. So we're gonna dive. This linkage moves down, moves down, opens up that valve. All the air comes out. And now we're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna kick on the air pump and you can hear it sucking when I block that uh, intake there. And of course the last function that we need to test is the throttle. Uh, we got forward and reverse. It's really, really smooth. That little bit of jittering in those stern planes is completely normal. It happens to all submarines equipped with an automatic pitch controller. Just those slight vibrations sets that little gyro crazy inside the uh, electronics unit. Um, and again, I would recommend maybe dialing that speed back to about 70% because it is a streamer. So that's your, your ballast system, all of the major functions of the boat. Of course, the last thing that you need to do is simply put the hull on and uh, connect your air hose. And this just slips onto this forward. I'm gonna see, do this with my other hand so you can see what I'm doing this forward nipple on the top of the ballast tank. And then you slip this on. Now this is probably like the trickiest part of the whole thing. You just need to make sure that these little alignment tabs um, are fitting over top of where they need to go. So when it's all kind of put together properly, it actually fits really flush um, with the lower hull. That done, uh, we're gonna take our stainless screw, screw that down, and uh, everything's in there. Now, the last thing, I just I just moved the fair water so that the magnetic linkage clicked into place, and now you can see that working. Pretty slick system, No, nothing to make up or connect or anything like that. It's all done magnetically. So, um, of course, you're probably wondering how this boat performs. Um, I'm gonna say it is a ton of fun. I, I'm, I'll say it's probably a little bit overpowered. Uh, it goes like a rocket ship in the pool. Now, if that's something that uh, excites you, then by all means, you can keep that kind of speed in there. But I would probably dial it down through the transmitter to something more like 70% for a little bit more of a scale-like speed. Uh, when it darts around underneath the water, it moves around like a trout uh, in the water. So uh, very fast, exceptionally maneuverable. I'm gonna say it'll probably turn about uh, 180 degrees in a four foot diameter circle, um, which is incredible. If you override the stern planes and do full dive uh, on the fair waters, it will, uh, again, within that sort of four foot diameter circle, 
uh, stand on its nose or, or come straight up out of the water. So the pitch control is exceptionally responsive in this boat as well. I can't really say too much more about that other than if you are looking to just patrol like a normal submarine uh, in a very scale-like manner, the automatic pitch control does a tremendous job of keeping the boat uh, level on an even keel while you're cruising at periscope depth or deeper. So it is an exceptionally fun boat to operate and uh, I know the new owner is going to have a blast with it when they get it here shortly. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. This was the uh, 196 scale barbell class USS Blueback Submarine. Uh, built, uh, assembled, and tested by David Merriman, uh, checked, trimmed, and ready to sell thanks to your friends at the Nautilus Dry Docks. If you like what you see, do please like and subscribe. It helps us out immensely here. If you have questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Bob at Nautilus Dry Docks is where you can email me. And with that, we're going to let you go. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.